Hello everyone and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. And yes, we have the uh, beautiful Her Alexander on the table, finally, because maybe you uh, heard me talk about it uh, on occasion in my videos. This one uh, needs a repot. I know, I think I know what I did wrong. At least it's not a good idea because I did put it up with quite a lot of Cintiq. Cintiq is the inorganic um, moss uh, that I like to use, but it holds uh, too much water. This is one of the first um, new uh, Miltoniopsis that I uh, started to regrow when I started to or uh, st started to regrow. Yeah, basically I started regrowing them because I did uh, always kill them. But this one was one of the first that I put up in uh, self-watering. And as you can see, she's still blooming, so, so he's doing better. But therefore, it's uh, quite a small orchid still after uh, three years now. Because it struggled quite a lot. And I really, really need to repot this, but I wanted to enjoy the blooms a bit longer. But what now is happening, and that is the case when you have... Um, too much moisture around this, uh, you will uh, have a big chance for a rot. And this is, uh, it looks like the orange rot that they can get quite easily, the Miltoniopsis. So therefore, yeah, it really needs to come out of the pot and be repotted. But first, uh, like I said, yeah, we want to know what we have and uh, maybe I need to separate it or anything, I don't know yet, so I don't have any n new pots already. I'm just first going to see what, uh, what we will see in a, in a pot. Well, actually, first we're going to do, uh, the first thing we're going to do is cut the flower spikes, because it uh, did take up enough energy already. Slightly fragrant, still. Uh, this one can go as well. They're beautiful, but it's really, really is time to do a repotting on this one. And it uh, also started a new growth, uh, I'm sorry, here. So it's, it's a good time. And now I, I try to stop that rot from continuing, continuing uh, going into the plant. So, yeah. I'm going to take that stick out and let's have a look. Yeah, we do have roots as you can see, alive roots, beautiful roots. So that's okay, but we have the rot situation. This bulb is quite, quite bigger than this one. This one was last year's growth. This one is this year's growth. So that's okay, but now the rot starts to uh, start, uh, yeah, start happening as you um, as I already let um, showed you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but we also have this this uh, new growth here, which is starting a new root. But like I said, I'm not really sure if I cut these bulbs off if we have still have one plant, because I think we will end up having two. And I hate it because those roots are so beautiful. But I have to repot it. I try to do it as gently as I can. I try to save those roots, but we probably do know how Miltoniopsis are um, repotting wise so but you never know but you can see that it's very very heavily packed in the Cintiq and I have I don't know what that is something going on maybe it's mold I don't know but Aleka and Cintiq I think it's uh, was a little bit too much of the Cintiq as you can see here on top it's all all the black stuff is Cintiq so Okay, we get the point, I think. <laughs> now here we go. Uh, I really, I really not was looking forward to this, to do this, to do this repot, which are a bit hard today, uh, apparently. But who knows? Maybe it will take off in a new setup, and I will say in a few weeks, I'm so happy that I did it. I saved the plant. <laughs> Let's hope it. Okay. It doesn't smell bad. No, it really doesn't smell bad. So that's a good sign. Yeah, it's, it's actually 
It smells almost a little bit like moss, fresh moss, strangely enough. Um, this root is dead, so that can go. So yeah, I try to uh, avoid breaking the roots, but I think I do not have a choice, because this is so packed in. But we have quite some roots, that's okay. Um, and I did use this small aquarium grid, I stopped using it, because it's, it's a little bit too small. It keeps, the, it keeps the moisture in the pot a little bit too much. I, I still need some airflow, so I need something in between. Not too much uh, of a dry layer, but not too much uh, of uh, a closed pot completely, if you know what I mean. If you put too much of this small uh, grit on top, you basically um, do not allow air coming in anymore, in my experience, at least. So therefore I stopped using it. But, of course, if you have an uh, aquarium grid which is larger, that that's, would solve the problem as well. It's not the uh, aquarium grid, but it's because it is aquarium grid, don't get me wrong. But, uh, yeah, we have some older roots here that are died off. Mm, let me first get that meter out of the way. And when you buy Synthic, at least I have, you have a choice in the s smaller ones, about 10 centimeters, and the ones that are probably around 50 centimeters, I think. At least l quite long strands of Cintiq, and I did use that one in the beginning, but that's not handy because oh, if the roots are attached to that one, because it's so long, it's very hard to uh, separate it as you can see. So I think I uh, used the long version, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. But yeah, I was uh, trying out things, and it's okay, but. Yeah, sometimes things do not work out as we hoped they would. But that's how we learn. But this orchid, yeah, I hope I can uh, uh, get it to grow again. I think I have a chance because of the root system. If I can stop the rot, that's, that's something with methonias, I know. But we, uh, we definitely will give it a try. This one is already... No, it's still attached. I thought it was... Uh, already uh, on its own, started its life on its own, but it didn't. bit different by using my scissor and try to cut those large pieces off. Um, to create some more room in between the roots. Yeah. This may take me a while, but it's okay. But it's so hard to leave the roots intact while Trying to unravel this. <laughs> I don't know, I do not try to get rid of every bit of piece of Cintiq, but I try to loosen it up because I always use Cintiq with my Miltoniopsis and pumice nowadays in self watering, so that's okay, but I, I need to loosen it up because it's too wet there and well I add it I try to get the old dead roots as you can see in this part 
I hope you can see it. Try to get them out as much as I can, but on the other hand, our live roots were growing through that area as well. But here we go, I think. Yeah, this part is. A lot of these roots are dead. And yeah, let's focus on this part, on the bulbs. Um, see, we have beautiful, we have quite a lot of roots, new growing roots, so that means that this orchid is starting to re establish again. So I want to take advantage of that as much as I can. So I try to, we'll try to cut it behind. In between this bulb and the possibly infected bulb, and there, so there were by I will have two plants, but I think uh, I cannot uh, avoid that, and that's not the biggest problem. But it wasn't the plan, but yeah. So I will get my uh, clippers. Um, Yeah, these are, are soft, going soft. So I try to keep them intact so I don't mess up because there are there are, there's very dirty fluid in here that I don't want to have in my media. So I need to come up with a plan to avoid that as much as I can. So I try to put some tissue under there. That way I do not have to remove every uh, single piece of Cintiq because we have so many beautiful roots that I really would, would like to uh, use again. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I think I see a nice part to cut this. There you go. Yeah, that's a nice clean cut. So I don't see any fluence coming out of the bulb, luckily. And around this area I have more space to make a cut, so I think we will be okay here as well. That would be beautiful, that's the first step that we want to achieve. There you go. Just do it. <laughs> uh, because I hate it. But I cannot avoid it, like I said. And one day I hope I can say to myself and to you guys, I'm so happy that I did that report. <laughs> because now I have a healthy plant again. Uh, okay, so now we have basically three parts. Let me first try to get this part out of the way before. Yeah, you see? All, all dead roots and really, really. Um, brownie roots, uh, bulbs, I'm sorry. This is this is how it looks if the rot starts. Keep an eye on those bulbs and I will put them in the bin straight away. And what I also will do, I will disinfect my hands just to be on the safe side with some uh, alcohol. And I have it on this. Oh, smell. <laughs> alcohol, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Let's continue this. Um, is this root? Yeah, this root's also alive. Can we save that? We may save that root. Uh, that piece of syntax is in a way. Okay, um, let me cut here. Let me see. Oops. Oh, luckily I didn't break that root one. That new starting root. Sometimes I'm so focused on what's happening here that I don't pay, pay attention enough where I place my fingers around the orchid. And that cost me some roots, tips, actually, root tips. I think it happens to all of us. I don't, not sure, but 
I hope it, it does. Kind of hope it does. Don't get me wrong, but that means that I'm not the only one. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, um, how? What? Where are you going? Are you? This is a new route. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking too soft. This is a new route, but I don't know. Yeah, it's a branch from this one. Oh, okay. I think I saved that one. That would be nice. And we have one going here. Don't know if I can cut that loose. Uh, where are you? There you are. Oops, no, there you're not. There's a new route. I almost got a new starting route there. Um, Let me check again. <laughs> yes, I can cut it here and that was it for now. <laughs> So attached. It loves the Cintiq, but it has it had just a little bit too much, and I knew that for quite some months now. But uh, like I said, it did stay it on because I saw new roots coming, and I saw the orchid getting stronger. Then I saw the flower spikes. So I thought, yeah, later, later, not now. <laughs> First rebloom on this one, so yeah, that was kind of special. And this one is. Uh, a gift from my mother, so therefore it's a very special orchid as well. But I hope I can uh, can save it. Mm. And then maybe we have two. Uh, almost. Almost. Yeah. Just that one root really going for something and do not want to let go of the media oops I do think yeah I did break it at last the last part of it so not completely but I did break a little part of it it happens I tried my best and there we have it so we have some roots there I'm sorry, it was a little bit out of shot. Um, and we have some ports there. Some leftovers from before. But yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but it's making uh, new roots and I am recovering uh, some other Miltonians who are were around the same size. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm positive that uh, we uh, we're going to uh, recover this one, but I'm now not not sure, of course. But that's okay. On the end of the day, it is a Miltonia, so you never know. Yeah, these bracts are completely wet. They're basically soaked. So if you think about it. This orchid was pretty strong, or is pretty strong, because I have had it in, in here for, let me check the date. Seriously guys, the 1st of May 2019, more than two years in this amount of Cintiq. This is the only one that has that amount of Cintiq in it. Yeah, can you imagine? It really, really is, is. It really is wet. Maybe I can. You see it? That amount of water. So yeah, it's a little bit too much of it. But it's, yeah, I'm going to cut off these long strings of synthetic, 
and thereby, because I want to leave some Cintiq on it, it obviously likes it. So I think that I can leave, yeah, I'm going, yeah, this one, it has, it has algae on it. I thought it was old, probably a bit older, but it's a bit discolorated. It has some discoloration on it <laughs> because of the algae. Um, so I want to clean this wound up and then I'm going to repot it in a, probably in the same um, pot that it came, came out of. And yes, I'm going to sterilize this just in case, but I, uh, I will do that uh, later on. And I don't think I need to film that because I think this is already getting quite long. But for you guys who are interested in this process, I'm just going to film it almost completely without the washing of the pots. I don't think that is that important. Yeah, it's important. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, we have even some moss in here. That's not good. But it is there. It was there. Correct me. Uh, uh, correction. <laughs> correct me. Um, yeah, and I want to get those old roots out. But yeah, if you think about it, more than two years in a setup, in such a wet setup, and being a Miltoniopsis, <laughs> that's something. So actually, even though it looks Mm, kind of no, not so well. Actually, I think this could be classed as a quite strong plant because if you can survive that long in such a setup. But yeah, I hope I'm not too late. But I think if you look uh, at the roots, those roots are all healthy roots, so it should be okay. It should be. And let's hope it does. It is, I'm sorry. It is, I'm sorry, I, when I'm working and when I'm really focused, I, tr I, I, I know that I start talking a little bit uh, too soft, I'm s I apologize for that. I need to speak up a little bit more, <laughs> because I'm a little bit farther away from the camera, and I do not have, I do not, uh, do not, yeah, actually I do have a uh, separate mic, but I cannot attach it in this, to this camera. So, yeah. Maybe one day I will have another camera that can uh, that has that option. Yeah, that kind of looks okay. Let's get the the bracts out of the way because they only start helping to get some rot in the pots. I must admit this one uh, had. Uh, Quite often some spider mites, but only opposites do get spider mites quite quickly in my uh, in my experience. And this one I recently did did give it a uh, spray, and I think it's clean again. It does look clean, so it's probably okay. And while I'm working on this, I think I'm. I'm going to clean up this. I'm just going to throw it away. I'm not going to reuse this synthing because it's it's too old, and I don't want to mess with it with all those teeny tiny roots in there. And then I give this a spray of hydrogen just to be safe, just to try if there are some uh, rotting uh, bacteria left to to kill them off. So let's uh, try and do that. So I will be right back. So I have my hydrogen peroxide here and just give it a little bit of spray uh, around and on the wound itself and thereby try to kill as many bacteria as we can. And yeah, it's very dark uh, circle there. It's not purple, but it's it's a uh, very because of its it's old, I think. I hope. I don't hope. It's the rough. But I uh, will uh, give it a, a bit of a rest while I am grabbing my... Uh, grabbing my... Come on! Cinnamon. Yes, there it was. <laughs> my cinnamon. I will we'll, we'll, uh, wait for a few minutes and we will back and I will apply the cinnamon. And then we will uh, start up-putting these 
both orchids. And I'm back and now I grab some cinnamon on my finger and I will apply it on the womb there. Cinnamon, cinnamon, remember. I use a different finger, I'm gonna grab another one. I have my uh, another finger now. Uh, here's my camera. And I will dab it in. I try to avoid to put some, uh, let some cinnamon fall on the roots. And I need to clean up my hands quite quickly. What I also did, I grabbed a new pot. The other one I let, uh, let it dry at least for a few days. I sprayed this all with alcohol, so it should be fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it aside. And I did clean uh, every tool that I did use for this orchid already. Well, put them away. I don't think I need to use them anymore. And let me see. I'm going to place some bigger pumice underneath that pot. Just to keep the small pumice inside because of the holes of the pot. Small pumice will come through quite easily, of course. So. Oops, I need to. Get some bigger pumice first, like that, and then I will use this beautiful small pumice to keep uh, to keep more air uh, in between the roots and to keep that cintic looser. Because yes, I did uh, overpack it. <laughs> if that's uh, if that's a word. I don't think so, but I did uh, use too much. Okay, let me see. This is a little bit of a climber. Can you imagine? It wants to grow out of the pot. Hint, I didn't took that hint for a while. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Arkad. But I did get it. And yes, I did get it for a while. Still kept you in because of your beautiful blooms. But now uh, it is the day, and you can see the uh, probably you can see we have quite a holes. I do not put any Cintiq in there anymore. It has a lot. I will fill it up completely with small pumice, so to give quite a change uh, air-wise in a pot. At least that's what I'm hoping. They do not like big air gaps, I'm aware of that. But a little bit more air, like uh, the small pumice, I see great results on the other ones. So therefore I'm pretty uh, happy that I uh, now see those results, that I can use that for, uh, for cutting off newer uh, Miltonias. And what I do see is that they do take, take off quite quickly for a Miltonia, don't get me wrong, but uh, because I uh, now find a way that I really like to grow, at, at least in my uh, my uh, environment. I'm from the Netherlands, by the way, if you didn't uh, already know that. So, and I live quite close to the sea. And that's nice for obvious reasons, but it's also nice because uh, the humidity is most of the times um, not incredibly low here. I think someone is at the door. Um, I will be right back, sorry. False alarm, I'm back. <laughs> um, yeah, this looks okay. I really like the look of it. Um, and uh, obviously, I made a mess. Let's have a closer look. You see, doesn't look as packed as packed inside that pot anymore as it did before. I think it's it's really a big improvement for the orchid as well. But I still want to give this a, a top layer of pebbles. Just a few. I think they, they like it. And I like the look of it as well. Maybe a, a little bit more than the orchid cell. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. 
just a little bit there. And um, we will put the tag back, back in. But what I will do is put the date on. And today it's the actually the 24th of June. And I will upload this a little bit later. I'm sorry because I have so many videos uh, these days. Because of those beautiful care collapse. I'm a little bit... Uh, not actually behind, but uh, I have some extra videos. So that's why the dates are really not matching, but it's a few days later. Or, or a few weeks, I don't know this date. <laughs> but I don't think it's too long. Probably we will have an uh, update soon. But um, speaking of updates, speaking of updates, we have a, I'm sorry, um, yeah, we have a Ruth here with a nice green tip. Wouldn't that be fun that I mark it here so we can check that Ruth, just, just for fun. Right, when we check it and we can see if it uh, crosses the line, that means that it did grow, it did continue to grow. Um, maybe I can find another one. Yes, I think I have one. I will show you, show them uh, to you, obviously, but uh, I'm first I'm going to make the lines. No, I think I have to, but that's okay. I have to. Okay, so you can see that I'm not lying. Uh, right above my finger, yeah, you can see that line. It goes a little bit diagonal because the, the root was, was uh, put there, it's laid there. And in that angle I mean of course and we have another line here that route is facing towards the reservoir so let's let I, I need to remember this maybe I uh, need to go write it down somewhere but we can check those lines and see what those routes are uh, doing and I really like how it's potted it looks so much healthier for me just so much more air and uh, like I said, I have experience with the other ones. They like this setup uh, quite more. And also it isn't that high above the media, but a bit higher. So it can get some air, more air movement around uh, the roots and those bulbs. Hopefully that is enough to uh, prevent the rotting from spreading any further. I will put this one aside because as you remembered, probably we did uh, make from one plant, two plants. And so that other one I will put up as well. And I have to clean it up a little bit more, I can see. Um, some older bricks I want to take off before we're going to put this up. And I'm also going to spray it with some hydrogen peroxide. Hopefully this one will survive as well. This is very dirty. This this stem is very dirty, but I don't don't want to cut this because I have some roots coming out on the other side. I will lose those roots otherwise. The hydrogen peroxide also on the wounds that I will um, seal basically with the cinnamon. And I did remember it. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. I always forget cinnamon. It takes a while and then I remember how we call it. But yeah, I don't know why, but it happens uh, with that stuff. No, I'm kidding. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Okay. Uh, yes, I had already prepared a pot like this. That's my door going open. Hello, who is there? Nobody, because I have the uh, door for outside, I have it open a little bit for fresh air. <laughs> but it sounded almost like, like in a movie, didn't it? Scary, scary doors. Um, I need an outer pot for that one as well. Yes, this one fits beautifully. Okay, we need also a new water meter. And luckily I have them again. The new ones. Uh, I don't know. 
put this meter in there. It doesn't want to stay there, okay. It will be fine in a minute. A little layer with that uh, bigger harness for the same reason, obviously. Cinnamon. I didn't put cinnamon on yet. I'm sorry. I need to move this. I did almost forget to put cinnamon on. Yes, we are in three. A little part. And here we do. And I'm dabbing that cinnamon on there. Away, so I then don't can mess it up that cinnamon. I don't want to have to have it all over the roots. I'm always a bit afraid. I know myself that could happen quite easily. <laughs> I washed my finger. I have a little bit on my nail, of course. Why not? So, and I see all the roots. You do not need to go. You can stay here. And still it's quite a small plant, but still we have quite some roots, who knows. It will take off, hopefully. I wouldn't mind having two pieces of that here, Alexander. Maybe one day I would, can give a, give a piece away, but that is not in the near future, because this one really needs to grow. Obviously, to become really healthy again. But like I said, this is a very special object, so yeah. I'm not eager to give this away. Probably is staying in my greenhouse as well. But uh, otherwise, if I go the way. Uh, give it away, I'm sorry, my niece and also one of my best friends will uh, will get it. My mother is her aunt, so therefore it would be very nice for her to have this one. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. I don't think she watches my videos, but on the other hand, as she probably knows, she's the first one that uh, receives arguments from me if I don't want them anymore. Uh, that sounds a little bit bad, but I mean <laughs> if I have them double. That's the reason when I don't want an argument anymore. So far, I don't have orchids that I think I don't like, so I go give them away. There are a few that I think, well, maybe they're not really doing it for me. But so far, I didn't have uh, had it happen yet. I didn't have it happen yet. I'm sorry, I think you couldn't hear that. I'm sorry. Once again, the mic. <laughs> We have a nice top dressing of ferals. Let's have a last look. Maybe we can mark a root of this one as well. I don't know. Yeah, I think this one. Well, hmm? yeah, this is a branch, two branches. But, um, oh, I'm sorry, I was a little bit out of screen. We have a funny. Funny root here, I hope you can see it. This root, it has a branch going that way and it has a branch going that way. Uh, actually that way. A little bit sideways, so let's mark those two branches. You never know uh, if they would start off again. If you can see it, there is a mark and there is the other one. Just for fun. Just to see what happens. And I must admit, I did this uh, before, before I started filming, just to uh, help uh, myself uh, showing if the orchid is really growing, if the roots are really growing. It's just a nice uh, method if you are a little bit insecure if it starts to grow or not. 
This is maybe probably a tip there. You can mark the pots quite easily in my experience. So that is it. I will now uh, flush them. I will try avoid uh, flushing uh, closely to the arcade itself because of the cinnamon. So I'm going to flush a little bit uh, through the pot. Uh, I use our own water with a little bit of seaweed in there. And then uh, we will, uh, I will come back and we will have a final look on the two Miltoniopsis, her Alexanders. So, and there they are, sitting in this corner. And we now have uh, two plants, but I think it really does look quite much better than it ever did before. So I really hope this orchid does agree with me, these orchids, I have to say now. <laughs> We will see, and uh, I'm happy that I did a mark. I think it's a funny thing, quite funny, interesting, interesting to see. Um, I filmed this on, like I said, on the 24th of June, so maybe we can do a update in a week, something like that. A quite quick update to see if, if anything is happening already with the roots. I'm just thinking of something, but yeah, we're definitely going to do updates on these guys. And I hope they will uh, rebloom again. Oh, I really, really love them. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but these are my favorites. This one is almost gone. But this one has four spikes. I never had that much in bloom at once. Beautiful. Yes, you are beautiful too. You have two spikes, but two coming in the back. One there, one there. Beautiful. Okay enough I cannot stop talking about them <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> but I will I will thank you you guys for watching and as usual if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section for now I just hope to uh, see you at one of my next videos bye bye